What's up guys, girls, mini pearls, and naked squirrels? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well here. Thank you for asking. Today, I'm going to showcase something very special near and dear to my heart. My video gaming heart, that is. I'm going to showcase my original Xbox. Bought on November 15th. 2001 launch day first in line at my local Walmart I stood there many many hours eight or nine hours to be precise now let's look at a couple of goodies here here is the original Xbox it does still work to this day, needs a dusting, but don't they all? Works to this day, as of right now. You never know. You can turn it on. <coughs> you can turn them on and it'll blow like that. As of right now, it still works. Something else I would like to showcase is the original box. Now, don't cry. Don't pass out. Don't freak out gonna be all right that's a rough looking box guys and I am ashamed of myself for letting it get like that it was in pristine condition for many many years and then I put it outside in our shed and the heat, humidity, and all that good stuff took its toll on it. And I didn't get it out of there in time, and so that's what it looks like now. I hate it, but what can you do? And yes, I've still got it. So, also what I have is my original copy of Halo CE. Still in pristine condition, manual, all that good stuff. I bought the game, I bought the memory card, I bought the remote, all of that like one week before the Xbox actually launched. So that was pretty cool, I had all that ready to go. Yes, I was dumb enough that I bought the memory card, couldn't even put a full game on it. So there you go. And I actually have the Xbox Live adapter that goes into the controller that the headset plugs into. Uh, I don't have the original headset. I'm, it broke years ago, I'm sure is what happened. But uh, I do still have that part, which is pretty cool to still have that after all these years. Really, to have any of that is pretty cool. Oh, and something else. Uh, of course, I didn't mind the Duke controller. Wasn't a big deal. But, when the S controllers came out, I bought one. Pretty much instantly. And, these are my original S controllers. Still in good condition. Working just fine. Doing their thing. Um, I do have some more goodies here. You might be interested in if I can look here and see oh yeah and I like many people in the world <clears throat> bought my share of video game magazines so I have a few uh, demo discs and that that came uh, through magazines as well, the Xbox magazines. And as you know, they were pretty expensive. Even back then they were $10. <clears throat> so I have some demo type discs and things. Uh, here's one. Here's one. 
I don't remember where I got these. They, I guess they came in the, uh, I guess these came in the magazine too. I'm not 100% sure. I don't remember. Those are pretty nice. They're actually in the cases. Uh, this here is actually the live starter kit. My original, my original live starter kit. We have this demo. We have this demo. We have this demo. This demo disc. Got a few more here. Almost there. Those are my demo discs. And also I have my original Halo 2 bought on launch day and then I also have this exhibition demo disc as well I have an extra controller it's a third party controller it works just fine yeah, anyway, guys, <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed this short video. Um, I'm very proud of that little collection, uh, having the original Xbox, and it still works. I'm very proud of that. Um, I know everything has a shelf life, and one day it's going to break. But, uh, yeah, that's it. What do you guys got? Uh, tell me in the comments. Share your thoughts, opinions. And don't forget, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff on my videos. I hope you enjoyed all. I do it all for free. And don't forget to get up, get out, get ready and do it to it. And have a dead gum good time doing it. We'll see y'all later.